what is up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to learn how to add button tab navigation to our react native expo application right so you visit an application and you're going to notice there's some tabs down here that when you click on it when you press on it it's going to route you to a different screen okay so in today's video i'm going to learn how to add button navigations or button tabs in our react native expo application if that sounds interest, interesting, do well to like this video. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel as well as it's going to help this channel grow. And I'm going to appreciate it a lot. And also, you can leave your thoughts in the comment section as well. So, let's head over to the documentation for React Navigation. So, if you come to reactnavigation.org um, and you find your way to the documentation, you are going to see that how it works basically so they you have a demo here where you see the button tabs here that when you click on any of the tabs it's going to route you to a different screen so that's what we'll be doing in today's video so first of all these are some things we need to install right so we need to first install this package which is react navigation native we're going to install react navigation native so let's open the terminal and then do npm all right and then paste that paste it here and we also have need to install this as well which is the main button tabs navigation component or package that we need which is the react navigation button tabs paste it in here and then we let it install okay so we are going to install these packages and then we are going to see how we can use them to uh, basically add the button tabs in our app so the installation is complete i have gone ahead to create some screens here we have the home screen this is just a simple home screen with a, with the text saying home screen. We also have a profile screen, and then we have the, the settings screens. Now these are just screens, right? We haven't hooked them to the navigation. So where we have the app navigation, this is where we are going to do everything basically. So this is where everything is going to happen. So first thing to do is we need to wrap everything in a navigation container. Okay, so let's clear everything here. I'm going to get an error bar. I'm going to wrap everything in a navigation container and then we are going to, it's going to be imported from react nav navigation native which what we just installed so let's close it like so okay so we need to close it here and then the next thing to do when we head to the documentation is have this tab sets this creates this um, tab um, variable which is going to be the create button tab navigator so we are going to copy this code this part of the code here and then we're going to paste it in here all right so yeah that's the tab and then we're going to that's the initialization right so i'm going to say what tab dot navigator okay so this is going to be the navigator for the bottom tabs so let's paste that in here as well good so this is going to be the navigator for all the tabs but then this navigation container simply needs to be wrapped around the whole application to enable navigation from different screens that's why we need a navigation container and then the tab dot navigator is there to set the navigation for the bottom tabs so that's what we have there and then the next thing is to have the the screens right so each screen needs to be set right so i'm going to paste this in here as well and then tab dot screen that's the tab the screen right tab dot screen and you need to set a name for it the name must be unique you can't have uh, duplicate names basically so the name must be unique and then we add the components we have home screen here we've already created a home screen component so we are going to import it i'm going to import the home screen so we should have that here and we also need to add a second screen we need to add a second screen so it's going to be the profile or the setting screen rather so let's say setting and then we are going to use import the settings screen like so okay so there's a there's an error here let's see what's going on navigate navigator can only contain screen group or react fragments as its direct children okay so let's see what's happening here okay so 10 sounds i've just i just needed to reload refresh the page for the changes to take effect so that's certain things you come across using react react native expo All right okay so as you can see here 
uh, we now have two button tabs here right so you have the home and then we have settings as well so when you click on the home this is what you're going to see like we added here so this is basically the everything we have on the home screen and then this is what we have on the profile screen as well so that's why when you click on the home you have this when you click press on the settings you have the settings screen as well so there's a third screen which is the settings sorry there um we need to add a profile screen right we need to add a profile screen so let's add the profile screen so as you can see this is a duplicate right so you have the name settings and settings here now there can't be a duplicate it always has to be unique right it, it always has to be unique so let's change this to profile like so and let's import the profile screen so you have it imported now you have three bottom tabs okay you have three bottom tabs that when you press on it this one is going to take us to the settings screen and then this will also take us to the profile screen good now you can notice that um down here we have this triangle looking icons here that's not what we want right we might want to have a home icon or a settings icon here and same for the profile and to do this you can add a prop here called options right now in options it's going to be an object okay and the item to add in the object is going to be tab bar icon okay and it's going to be a function like so close it in there and then we are going to add a component for the icon okay you are going to import a component for the icon now we're going to use um expo icons for this so in our browser open a new tab and then go to expo icons open the first link and then you can search any icon you want so we are going to use um let's search for home and let's pick the one that we'd like we want to use Let's use this one and then we're going to import it here like so we are going to import this so import entity pool from expo vector icons and where we have the components render, render, being rendered we copy that as well and then we are going to paste the components in here okay awesome so as you can see the icon is now there and you can notice that it has a black color when it's active but that's not what we want. We want it to pick the default color it has, which is the blue, right? So where we have the size here, we need to replace it with the prop size here. So we're going to say size and then the color as well. I'm going to put in the color here. Now this is going to go ahead and pick the default color and size of the tabs. Okay. So I'm going to do the same things for the rest of the screens. Paste it in here this in here as well but the only difference is we are going to be changing the icons okay so the settings for the settings we are going to use the code icon let's pick the one from font or some copy it and we are going to import it here like so and then let's copy the components here as well and replace it with what we have here and then we do the same thing for the profile for the profile i'm going to say person we to use the person which is coming from iron icons import it here like so and then go ahead and copy the components here as well clear this part and paste it in here like so now we do the same thing we did earlier we change the the size value here to the property we have at the top and then we do the same thing for the color replace it with the color prop okay so that we get the color the default colors okay now this is good right we now have the bottom tabs and we can now route to the various screens that we have now what if we want to change the default color of the the active tabs okay right now when it's active it's giving us a blue color what do you want to change the color okay what we can do now is within the tab dot navigator in the tab dot navigator opening um opening tab or we are going to set a, a prop right which is the screen options which is also an object right and then we're going to see tab bar active tint color we just need the tint color like so okay you just need the tint color i want it to take this tomato color tomato basically is a reddish looking color right so we are going to say tab dot navigation and then the screen options for that is going to be what tab bar active tint 
color and then we have this tomato color you can change this color to whatever you want it could be green or any hex code at all that you'd like so as you can see we have the green color here now this green color is going to be passed down as the color for all the uh, the, the, the tabs we have here okay so you can change it to whatever color you, you wish and you can notice that it's going to be changed here that's going to be the active color for all the tabs okay so we are going to end this video here if you've learned something new and you've enjoyed this video please do want to like this video and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already i'm going to love it i'm going to appreciate it if you do and this is it's going to push this content to more people and they're going to gain the value as well thank you very much for your time and catch you in the next video